light cruisers. During World War II, the need for light cruisers arose and were designed to counter large destroyers, screening capital ships, especially aircraft carriers, troop carrying vessels, convoys, defense against air and surface threats. They were cruisers with guns of less than 6.1 inches as defined by the London Treaty of 1936. Therefore, the designation light cruiser did not necessarily mean that the respective cruiser was smaller than a heavy cruiser. We use the phrase light cruiser somewhat boldly, as there was no clear-cut definition of what a light cruiser truly is, only some basic guidelines. This is made even more challenging, due to the fact that some navies had their own ideas on cruiser classification. In this video, we will examine the ultimate light cruisers of the major naval powers, like Germany, Japan, France, the United States, Great Britain, Italy, and built during the interwar years, and the Second World War. Due to the length of the video we decided to divide it in six parts. This third video it will be about the Cleveland class of the United States Navy. Without further delay, let's dive in. The Clevelands were completed in 1942-45. Based largely on the Brooklyns, these were excellent ships, with good firepower, protection, and basic toughness, with a remarkable hull strength. Their machinery was well dispersed and they were very maneuverable. Their greatest weakness, which they shared with too many other American designs, was that they were top-heavy. Perhaps this explains why members of other services often referred to American sailors as pukes. The design went back to 1938, when the tentative FY40 program called for two 8,000-ton cruisers. The Cleveland-class cruisers served mainly in the Pacific Fleet during World War II, but some of them served off the coasts of Europe and Africa, in the US Atlantic Fleet. The first Cleveland-class cruisers entered combat in the Pacific early in 1943. For most of the time they served as part of the cruiser screen, around the fast aircraft carriers of the Pacific Fleet, providing part of the powerful anti-aircraft barrage. All of these warships survived the war. The last of these in service, the USS Oklahoma City, was decommissioned in December 1979. Only one Cleveland-class cruiser remains in existence. She is the guided missile cruiser Little Rock, which is a museum ship along the Niagara River at Buffalo, New York. Here are the specifications of the Cleveland class. Displacement, 11,700 tons. Length, 185.93 meters. Beam, 20.19 meters. And draft, 7.49 meters. Powered by four water tube boilers, delivering 100,000 shaft horsepower, to four General Electric cross compound steam turbine engines driving four propeller screws. With an impressive 32.5 to 35.2 knots maximum speed, an operational time frame of almost 24 days at 15 knots, and a range of 9,940 miles at 15 knots, were extremely successful ships. The Cleveland class were armed with four triple six inches 47 caliber Mark 16 guns. Six dual five inches 38 caliber guns. Four triple 28 millimeters anti-aircraft guns. Two quad and two dual bow force 40 millimeters guns and up to 20 single or Arlecan 20 millimeters cannons. Able to carry two catapults and four seaplanes, the Vauto S2U Kingfisher float plane, with a large hangar and workshop. Plenty of space for aviation gasoline tanks, oil, armament including depth charges and bombs. These cruisers were able to launch two planes in quick succession for reconnaissance and spotting. Now, stay put for the fourth part video of the ultimate light cruisers of the major navies of the World War II. On part 4 we will talk about the La Galissonier class light cruiser of the French Navy. If you liked the video please hit the like button, if you have something to say, please leave a comment, and if you want to watch more videos please subscribe. Thank you for watching.